If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Feeve Chief here. We are going to be looking at today's content today, which is absolutely massive. We got headliners team one to go over. We got showdown SBCs, we got a daily SBC. We got some really cool objectives to dive into. And we're also gonna look at how all of this impacts the market. So let's go ahead and dive right in here to the SBC section. And if you guys would please just drop a like on the video. The first thing we have here is a showdown SBC, Kovacic versus Keita, Chelsea versus Liverpool both 87 rated box to box midfielders and honestly look like pretty decent cards high high work rates here for Kovic it's four star four star decent all around stats for a box to box midfielder defending and physical may be a little low but he's definitely going to do the job for you and then Keita here as well medium medium four star four star just a really solid card all around and toss these in your midfield as a CDM center mid even could use them as a cam and a little bit of a weaker squad and they're definitely going to be solid players for you both requiring an 83 rated squad with the team of the week and an 86 rated squad with the team of the week which might seem a little expensive but you got to think about how cheap team of the weeks and fodder are all right now this really isn't going to cost you much at all to complete those SBCs personally I won't be completing those just because I try to steer clear of those player SBCs, not sink my coins into them. But especially if you're a Chelsea or Liverpool fan, definitely get on these cards. Going to be worth it to toss in your teams. So moving forward after that, what else did we get here? I know we got a daily SBC. The super sub SBC gives you a rare gold pack untradeable, which is 25k pack and gives you a 500 coin boost for five matches which you got to think about that's just 2500 coins right there that they're giving you so a 25k pack and 2500 coins essentially and for this sbc what it requires is basically 70 rated squad all rare players 85 chem leagues you can't use a bunch of leagues and players from one club max three so what this is going to do to the market is raise the prices a lot of a lot of silver rares especially silver rares from like france spain england germany all those popular nations that's what's going to see the biggest rise here i mean if we're just to go take a look here if i go rare silver french here and these are already up here at about 800 coins they're selling out right now and those when there isn't an sbc like this are literally like 200 250 coins their discard price so big rise on those if you invested in those like like was tipped in the discord gg to you you've tripled your coins if not you can actually just use this as a sniping and bidding filter now you can go silver rare on these nations and try to pick these cards up just like that simple stuff that you can get on here mass bidding or sniping is going to do the job but yeah this should be very very simple to complete just grabbing like spanish guys from the second spanish league that are rare but the 11 rares is the thing that really makes those shoot up in price so big time profit for those of you that invested now i believe that hits all of the sbcs that were released we didn't get the icon sbc that people are waiting on uh repeatable or non-repeatable but we did get a set of new icons yesterday or the day before i kind of forget but that is that so we'll go ahead and jump in to the objective section here which we got some really cool stuff in the milestones but to start it off we got a headliners felipe anderson card which looks really really good here 93 pace 91 dribbling 85 shooting 87 passing for a card that's essentially free and if we look at the requirements isn't that hard to get this guy looks amazing actually especially if you can fit him in your squad or even just bring off the bench he looks really good but to complete this guy you just need to score a finesse goal in 10 separate matches win four matches assist five goals with a through ball with a guy with a four-star weak foot and then scoring outside the box goal and obviously you have to do all of this in the friendly which is headliners challenge so you don't have to use any specific nation league anything like that the only thing you got to make sure you have in your squad is people with four-star weak foot so you get that assist with the uh with the through ball so this is a really really easy objective for an amazing card so very very happy to see that there now i'd be interested to see that i i didn't check what the requirements are on the actual friendly headliners challenge so let's take a look and see what it asks you to do 
for the friendly here. So if we go over to headliners challenge, you need minimum seven leagues, but it's max chemistry. So it's not that big of a deal. So you can basically just build any squad you like, as long as you have a bunch of different leagues in there. So very simple stuff there. I like that a lot too, because you'll come across a lot of different teams. It'll be a fun objective to do for sure. Especially it doesn't look like it's going to be sweaty at all. Only four wins, 10 finesse goals, easy stuff. Now moving into the milestones, this is where we got some really, really cool stuff win five win 10 win 15 this is squad battles here you have to play on professional difficulty or higher uh for five wins you get a two rare gold players pack for 10 wins you get another two rare gold players pack for 15 you get a draft token pack which is worth 15k coins to enter a draft which you can get more packs out of which is massive and at the end of those you also get a mega pack so a 35k pack untradeable so it's going to be that squad battles there it's going to be the exact same for rivals two rare gold players twice and then a draft token pack with a mega pack at the end so you go you go and play your squad battles and your rivals that you're doing just throughout the weeks you got two weeks to do this so it'll be very easy to complete simple stuff to get draft tokens mega packs everything like that and then they also have this in draft it's going to be the exact same thing you can use your draft tokens from the other objectives to go enter into draft if you win 15 draft matches in the next two weeks you'll get those packs you'll get another draft token pack and a mega pack so really exciting stuff there in the objective side of things looks like we got a just great content today overall showdown sbcs a daily sbc that's gonna impact that silver market well on top of giving us a coin boost with it which i don't think we've seen before and now we're gonna jump in to this headliners team so i'm gonna go ahead and jump over to footbin here to show you guys this if we go ahead and look at footbin obviously the star of the headliners team is going to be killian mbappe here these prices i mean these have come out 15 minutes ago so they'll drop but this is going to be the best striker in the game, this Mbappe card. I mean, he's just outrageous. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. I don't know what else to say other than he is just incredible. Other other headliners of this team, haha, <laughs> headliners, would be Van Dyke, obviously. Unbelievable Prem center back, going to be a very, very big one there. You've got Nkunku here as well, which is massive. And then there's some other, there's just a lot of decent cards in here. Headliners is typically a promo with some good cards. You got Reese James in there, Koulibaly. I mean, the only guys which are really like Schick is a stinker. And then Kandreva is even a decent card. But at this point in the game, he isn't, he isn't really worth all that much. So Simeone, Kandreva, Schick are kind of meh. Diaz is a good card. But again, the links is going to be a little tougher with him. And then outside that everything else here is just an incredible card so an amazing headliners promo team here again we're going to be waiting for that sunday mini release where they release three maybe four cards which should be fun but yeah the headliners team looks very very good and i believe it says team one as well meaning we are going to get a team two which is very very exciting there so that's kind of where we're at right now with today's content very exciting here i mean headliners i feel like it's a very underrated promo i mean it's cards that can very very easily get upgrades uh from their team winning and them getting team of the weeks and the reason these cards are headliners is because they've already been performing well this year players like Nkunku that already have tons of special cards so the odds of them getting more upgrades is pretty high because they're in form and chances are they're going to continue to play well that's why they give a lot of these cards those headliners someone like luis diaz who has some team of the weeks as well so that is the headliners promo day one of content very happy with what ea released here very happy with the coins we're going to be making but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video